Hi everybody, this is Donnie Vaughn of the Marketing Twins. You can find us online at marketingtwins.com. This tutorial is just going to show you a little bit about what we call the WordPress dashboard. It's kind of your starting place of understanding how the back end of your website works. So let me show you what that looks like. I've logged in already and I'm going to go over here to this dashboard. Once you log in, this is where you're going to land initially. It's going to say dashboard here. You can tell right here at the top. You're at the Texas Family Medical Group, so you're you're at the right place. Now, there's some things that you need to know. This is a WordPress platform. What you're seeing here is what anybody else who uses WordPress to update their website, this is what they're going to see with a few exceptions where we have personalized it to your specific site. But the layout is going to be very similar. All that to say is there are th some things on there on here that you're never going to use. Other people might use them for other reasons, but you're not going to use everything on this. So don't get overwhelmed thinking about all the different buttons on here. I'm going to showcase some of the things that you are going to use. And let's go through this dashboard real quickly. Down this left hand side are different options and some of these you're going to use, some of these you're going to not use. Some of these we as the administrators have used but you as the normal user of the site will never use. Uh, right here is just kind of an overview. It tells you how many pages are on your site right now. It shows that they're 18. This site does have the ability to have a blog. If you ever wanted to add a blog, right now there's just a generic one post in there. It's just a, a default one. Same thing with the category. The categories and posts kind of go together. But there are 18 pages to your site. This is just kind of an overview. tells you what theme what we used. All I would ask is that you never change this theme right here. Never touch this right here. And never touch these widgets. I think you'll, you'll, you'll be fine if you don't touch that. All this over here on the right side, you'll never really use any of this. Some of this is just generic uh, stuff that they have. Uh, down here on the left underneath you have recent comments if somebody wants to comment on a blog it might show up there um, Some of the plugins and so forth just ignore all that and down here in the bottom There are some what we use a plugin called gravity forms This is what you used for your contact form and your request an appointment form and you can see that there are three entries here There's different ways of getting to that information, but one of the ways that you could find out uh, when somebody requests an appointment you should Somebody, uh, I think Gloria or Savannah or somebody should be getting the emails in the event that they are not available or you didn't get, they didn't get the emails. They can always come and find those same entries in this dashboard. They can click here and, and view that. Down here on the left hand side, you'll see, um, don't worry about updates. If you see anything that says you need to update this or update this, don't do that. WordPress will may from time to time tell you you need to update things. But as your support, uh, we don't always upgrade or update things as soon as WordPress tells us because sometimes there's bugs they need to work out. So don't do anything with the updates. We'll take care of all that on the back end. Posts are related to blog posts. So if you ever get a blog post up and running, we could help you with that. The media, this is your media library. I'll do a, second, a separate section on this. But these are all the different images and even PDFs that show up on your site. Word documents, images, etc. Pages. This shows you all the different pages that are on your site. So if you ever wanted to update one of the pages, you would come to the pages section and I'll do a separate tutorial on how to make changes to your site as well as to add new pages. Um, you won't do anything with comments. The forms. This is where we do the gravity forms. This is where if you wanted to add new forms. If you get to the point where you want to add new forms, let us know and we can help you with that because it's a little more complicated if you're not accustomed to doing that. This My theme here, I'm just going to ask that you not change anything on this. The appearance, same thing. You don't need to really change anything on here. And the rest of this is just kind of standard WordPress uh, layout. There's nothing really neat here except for this gallery and I'm going to show you some stuff on that in a separate tutorial. Same thing with this display buddy. This is, the, this is how we put together your site. Again, this is just an overview of the WordPress dashboard. You'll see additional video tutorials to show you how to update certain parts of your site. And you can look uh, on the page here for additional videos from that. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to us at marketingtwins.com.